So it's all about uh, where the business is at. So uh, what is the strategy, what are the business needs, but it's also about uh, what procurement can bring in terms of value. So it's not about waiting for the demand, it's about creating the demand as well. It's very important to understand where the procurement team is at. Um, so usually when I start in a new business, I give myself three months to really uh, know the team, understand the um, capabilities, the skill sets, but also the history. Where have they been? Uh, what was the demands from the business? What are the expectations going forward? So best practice um, in terms of change management for procurement is all about um, bringing a change that the team understands. So you can create the change with the team, or you can, uh, through your vision, uh, demonstrate to the team why the change needs to happen. And usually it's linked to business objectives. You need to assess where the team is at um, for that change. You will have people who can very much um, jump into the change, because some people like change a lot, and then others will be in complete denial. The ones who love change, you make them your um, change champions, and they're there to help facilitate the change within the team. Uh, and the ones who struggle, you have to really, uh, you know, be very close to them, and the line managers um, have to be very uh, supportive in that change. Just to embed change uh, takes uh, some time, and you're going to make mistakes, and the team is going to make mistakes with you. Uh, so um, being patient about change and um, understanding that sometimes, especially when you want to uh, embed processes like category management, that can take up to 18 months. Having empathy uh, for what people are going through is really important. So uh, your leaders also need to understand how they're going to be leading the change with you and really be sympathetic to what their people are going through. It's really important to understand what skill set you're going to be developing and usually I engage HR to work alongside me to do that. And it's um, work that I do with the team, um, the leaders in my team and HR and really understanding what people need, what the skip gap is compared to what the business eventually wants. This is not about what they've got now, um, it's about what they need for tomorrow. So it's as much for themselves as it is for the business overall. I would like to say that actually the soft skills in terms of influencing stakeholders are far more important in those days than even the technical skills. Because procurement touches everything. The business expects a lot of commercial acumen. And I think one of the main uh, developments in the procurement area is actually that commercial acumen, really understanding the business from A to Z. I think engaging the sales force is really interesting because these are the people who are potentially going to see the products of the future and um, having a dialogue with them gives you a dialogue with the CEO directly in terms of portfolio. What people need to understand in procurement is that they have the power to do it. Uh, most people wait for stakeholders to uh, give them authorization to actually engage and build a relationship. What procurement professionals need to do is actually be far more proactive and feel empowered that they are the commercial acumen of the company. We are the only function in the company really that touches everything and can bring also all external information on anything back into the business. And there are not that many functions in the business we can do that. As a result, we can guide the business and we can become very much far more than relationship makers. We can become business partners actually start speaking not a procurement language with your stakeholders and to stop calling them actually stakeholders call them business partners start to speak in their language so if you speak to IT you speak in IT language if you speak to marketing you speak in marketing language and you draw a lot of picture if you want to as well the first one is about um, being technically competent so try to learn as much as you can around how you do procurement well because I don't think that especially at the beginning of the career you get enough exposure to enough things and also you don't really get to understand how a business operates. So I would really advise you to stay in the company as long as you can, but change categories a lot. So, you know, every year, every 15 months, if you were given access to something else to buy, that would be a really good way for you to actually expand your knowledge and understand how different things are bought. It's a very difficult topic because it's usually not part of any training um, within the company. But this is the key element for procurement professional that we are lacking right now. And the procurement profession does not understand how to communicate what it does and what it achieves to most business partners and to the exec team in the company. So start working on your communication skills at the early stage of your career. That would be probably the best advice I can give you.